Thanks to his unusual tusks, Saber was one of the rarest elephants around. After he was found by wildlife authorities then, the majestic animal was transported to a tranquil patch of forest and given a satellite collar so he could be monitored. But unfortunately, it seemed that nothing could keep this exceptional elephant safe. Saber, the Bornean pygmy elephant, was first discovered in the summer of 2017. He was found in Sabah, a region in the Malaysian part of Borneo that is known for its diverse array of wildlife. And while there are thought to be at least a thousand elephants in the area, there was something special about this one. In particular, when the Saba Wildlife Department located Saber, the team immediately noticed his unusual tusks. Rather than pointing outwards and up like most elephants, his were turned down, and his saber-toothed tiger-like appendages would help earn him his name. Curiously though, it is not known why exactly Saber's tusks pointed in the opposite direction. Still, his appearance was noted to be similar to that of Dionotherium. Those prehistoric elephants also had backwards tusks. The ancient pachyderms, however, had become extinct two and a half million years ago. This is a rare find, but every elephant is unique on its own. Dr. Sen Nathan, Saba Wildlife Department Assistant Director, told New Straits Times in 2017. As Bornean pygmy elephants are also considered endangered by the IUCN, however, Saber needs protection. And as a result, the decision was made to transport him from the palm oil plantation where he was found to a safe forest. Saber's move was a wise one, as elephants in this area face many threats. The biggest problem these gentle giants face is the growing human population, which in turn has caused major habitat loss, food depletion, and fragmentation. On top of this, ivory poachers often hunt the animals. So, in order to keep track of Saber's movements and ensure he was safe from harm, the elephant was fitted with a special satellite collar. The device enabled teams from the Saba Wildlife Department and Cardiff University in the United Kingdom to monitor the elephant. And in the following months, they kept a watchful eye on Saber. Then, in November 2017, Saber's movements stopped. Yet, despite the threats elephants in the region are under, the monitoring teams weren't worried at first about this turn of events. Having worked with animals for so long, they've learned that male elephants often find ways of escaping their collars. I thought that the unit dropped, which happens often for males. Benoit Goussens from the Danau Jurang Field Center explained to the dodo. They find ways to get rid of the unit on the belt by rubbing on trees. And since it was in a protected forest and that the Sabah Wildlife Rescue Unit was busy with other rescues, I didn't worry too much. Almost one month passed then, during which no one gave Saber's whereabouts too much thought. But on December 26, 2017, a terrible discovery was made. Specifically, Sabah's Wildlife Rescue Unit stumbled upon the body of a 40-year-old bull elephant in the Kawag Forest Reserve. Apparently, the male had been murdered for his ivory tusks. And when Goosens heard about the body, it shocked him to his core. Even more ominously, the tragic remains had been discovered less than a mile from where Saber's collar had last been located. A panicked Goosens then got the Wildlife Rescue Unit to search for any sign of Saber. And sure enough, they found him. But it wasn't good news. My team in the Wildlife Rescue Unit found Saber's remains with the collar next to it, Goosens told the dodo. A statement released on the Danau Garang Field Center Facebook page stated, We're absolutely devastated. There are no words to express our sadness and anger. We hope that the departments in charge will do everything to catch the culprit and that those crimes will not go unpunished. All that was left of poor Saber's mutilated body, meanwhile, were his bones. This led experts to believe he'd been slain just one month after arriving in the forest that was supposed to be a sanctuary. And just as worryingly, this implied that poachers were operating in zones that conservationists had previously deemed safe. It's no surprise then that the two murders shook the conservation world. Any individual killed is a huge loss, especially a male like Saber, who was about 20 to 25 years old at his prime age for mating, Goosen said in an interview with the Dodo. The other bull was older, around 40 years. Losing two mature males is a huge blow for the population. Indeed, fewer than 1,600 Bornean pygmy elephants are estimated to be left in the wild. If they are to survive into the future, then, poaching of their kind needs to be stamped out. 
and the small steps being made to keep elephants safe have been put into stark relief by the two Bornean pachyderms murders. As Goosens told the Daily Express, on the day China banned ivory trade, we get two of our precious elephants murdered for their ivory. Our elephants are already threatened by habitat loss and development, such as the planned road and bridge in Sukau Kinaba Tanjin, he added. But if we had poaching for ivory, I don't give many years for the species to become extinct. Of course, the brutal killings of Saber and the other male sent shockwaves around the world. I couldn't express my sadness in words, one user wrote on the Danao Jurang Field Center Facebook page. I can only wish this news was just a bad dream, and when I wake up tomorrow morning, Saber will still be alive and well. In addition, the Sabah Wildlife Department has offered a reward of 10,000 Malaysian ringgits, that's around $2,000, for any information on Saber's murder. The reward is for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the poachers, Dr. Sen Nathan has said. Hopefully then with all the press these awful murders have been given, Saber's poachers will be brought to justice. And given that they've exposed the brutal reality of the ivory trade, perhaps more people will condemn the savage practice. After all, tusks look much better on elephants' faces where they belong. I hope you like this video. If so, please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to make sure you never miss a video from our channel.